How's it going everyone? Alan at Artisan Motor here. I figured I'd make a little video about these door pocket repair parts that we've been making for the W463 Mercedes G-Wagons from about uh, 1989 to 2001. Uh, now what these are intended to do is to repair this problem. So what happens is that over time these parts crack and you slam the door with too many skittles and it just blows out completely. Now what these are designed to do is give you a 100% accurate repair every single time uh, because they are all a set height. So what that means is from here, um, if your part sits a little bit too high, you're going to need to grind this down a little bit, you know, grind the rib down, grind whatever you need to do down in order for this part to sit flush to the door pocket. Uh, it has to sit like this because this part here is a set height in order for this uh, door pocket to mount correctly back onto your door panel. Um, now, so what you'll do is once you're done grinding that down and you confirmed your fitment with this, you'll pull that off, you'll take some sandpaper, whatever you got, rough up the entire area, rough up the nub here. Um, the better you prepare your surface area here, the higher quality of a repair, the better your epoxy will adhere. Uh, you know, just, just take some time to actually get all this rough. Um, once you do, put a very, very thin layer of epoxy down, uh, push on your pocket repair part. It will squeeze out some excess epoxy. And from there on in, take a little brush and just encase the whole part in epoxy and you know spread it out you know i actually made some marks you know the the further out you spread i mean it, it, it'll make it a little bit better of a repair so the idea behind this design is that it does not stress this area anymore like the factory had it it's actually going to spread the load to the rest of the door pocket so we're effectively beefing this up now what i use is a 3900 psi jb weld clear weld uh, i actually just use this because it's clear and uh, what that allows me to do is add a, a colored pigment into the resin in order to match the color of the door pocket. Uh, we're leaving these white right now because it's easier for anybody with a gray door pocket, a tan door pocket, to add pigment to their epoxy for a uh, so the color matches a little better. Um, if we made them in black, you know, that'd be a little bit harder to do. Uh, so all of these are a self-centering design, uh, so it doesn't matter at what point on the door pocket failed. Uh, you can see even this one had a little stress crack. So what you do, this one's got little hooks. Done. Perfectly centered. And uh, from there on in, just prep the surface, epoxy it down, and you're good. Uh, now what we have here, this is actually going to be a little, there we go is a uh you know so if this breaks as far as it did here uh, we couldn't do the hooks like on the other one so what we had to do is this piece will have to be drilled uh to this diameter because we have a self-centering nub on the inside here that will also help spread load so once you epoxy this all um you know the, the, this is just literally snaps in just like that and you're done epoxy it down and uh, you've got a perfectly quality repair after about you know 24 hours um i have these in my own personal g and i've been running around without a butt with a 20 pound weight inside the door pocket and i'm slamming the hell out of the door uh, these are actually holding up considerably better than uh anything the factory could come up with so you can see this one's been cracking and you know th this is uh let's see you know that's it. You know, you reinforce the area and spread the load and you've got a, uh, a repair for the life of the door pocket. So if anybody's got any questions, uh, you can get in touch with me. Um, you can go on my website, artisanmotor.com, where you can order these under the specialty parts tab. Um, you know, a kit includes enough pieces to do two door pockets. I will, these are all lettered, so they all have a specific area they go on this door pocket. So I'll have a little piece of paper with a map as to where they go, uh, some suggestions for epoxy, and some suggestions as to where you can pick up your colored pigment if you want to match them to your door pocket. From there on in, uh, yeah, hey, happy G.